Have you ever wondered how you can browse the internet while flying thousands of feet above the ground? Today staying connected is not just a convenience but a necessity, and this holds true even when we're cruising at 35,000 feet in the air. In-flight Wi-Fi has revolutionized the way we travel, allowing passengers to send emails, browse social media, and even stream videos while flying over continents and oceans. The magic of in-flight Wi-Fi is made possible by two main technologies, air-to-ground and satellite-based systems. Each of these technologies has its unique way of keeping you connected. Air-to-ground systems rely on a network of ground-based towers to send signals directly to antennas mounted on the underside of the aircraft. Meanwhile, satellite-based systems use space-based satellites to provide a broader range of coverage that spans across global distances, ensuring connectivity even over remote areas where ground towers are absent. Let's unravel the technology that keeps you connected, even when you're soaring above the clouds. Imagine texting while cruising at 35,000 feet using the same principle as your mobile phone. Air-to-ground or ATG, Wi-Fi systems bring the familiar technology of mobile networks into the sky. Just like your smartphone picks up signals from various cell towers while you travel on the ground, an aircraft equipped with ATG Wi-Fi does something similar, but at a much higher altitude. Here's how it works. Antennas mounted on the underside of the aircraft play a crucial role. As the plane soars through the skies, these antennas catch signals from a network of ground-based towers scattered across the landscape. This setup essentially mirrors how your mobile phone stays connected as you move, but maintaining a stable internet connection at high speeds and altitudes involves a seamless handoff process. As the aircraft moves, the connectivity baton is passed from one tower to the next. This handoff is meticulously managed to ensure that passengers experience continuous and uninterrupted internet access. However, ATG systems do have their limitations. Their dependency on ground towers means that their effectiveness diminishes over oceans or in remote areas where such infrastructure is sparse. This geographical limitation is significant, particularly for international flights that traverse large swathes of ocean or uninhabited regions. While ATG is perfect for domestic flights, let's see how international flights stay connected. For those long-haul flights, satellites step in to bridge the vast distances. When flying over oceans or remote areas, ground-based networks just don't cut it. Here's where satellite-based Wi-Fi comes into play. Utilizing three main types of satellites, geostationary medium Earth orbit and low Earth orbit. Starting with geostationary satellites, or GEOs, these are positioned about 22,236 miles above the equator. They stay in a fixed position relative to the Earth, providing wide coverage but at the cost of higher latency, which can affect the speed of your internet connection. Next, we have medium Earth orbit satellites, or MEOs. These orbit at an altitude between 5,000 and 12,000 miles. MEOs strike a balance offering lower latency than GEOs, but requiring more satellites to cover the same area. This makes them faster than GEOs, but not as expansive. Low Earth orbit satellites, or LEOs, operate closest to the Earth, between 311 and 1,242 miles up. They provide the lowest latency and fastest connection speeds. However, their close proximity to Earth means they zip across the sky quickly, requiring a large constellation of satellites to maintain continuous coverage. Aircraft connect to these satellites through sophisticated top-mounted antennas. These antennas are constantly adjusting to maintain a stable connection with the nearest satellite, ensuring that passengers can enjoy uninterrupted internet access. Satellite technology ensures that no matter where you are in the world, the internet is just a click away. So why go through all this trouble to provide Wi-Fi at high altitudes? Well, as we've seen, both air-to-ground and satellite-based in-flight Wi-Fi systems are technological marvels designed to keep you connected even when you're soaring above the clouds. Imagine you're cruising at 30,000 feet, far from any traditional internet connection. Yet, thanks to these ingenious systems, you can send emails, participate in video conferences, or scroll through social media just as if you were at your favorite cafe. This connectivity is invaluable for those who need to stay productive or want to keep in touch with loved ones during long flights. Beyond work, having access to the internet transforms your travel experience. Whether it's streaming movies, catching up on the latest series, or even starting a vacation early by researching your destination, the possibilities are endless. Looking ahead, advancements in technology promise even faster speeds and more reliable connections. 
This means the sky is literally no limit to what can be achieved. Next time you connect to Wi-Fi on a flight, you'll know the incredible technology that makes it all possible. Safe travels and happy browsing.